about five more minutes. We're going to get a lot of uh, polls closing, including Illinois here in Illinois, so we'll have some more results coming in. But right now, joining us is Bert Odelson. He is an election law expert involved in the aftermath of the controversial 2000 election between George Bush and Al Gore, the hanging chads that we will always, always remember. Always Thanks remember. for joining us, sir. My pleasure. Thank you. You know, Donald Trump has been saying this election is rigged. It's going to be rigged. If it's not in his favor, of course, we've been seeing that. What are you looking at right now as far as that? We have seen a little, you know, he uh, was at Nevada. He went to the judge and said, hey, things aren't going right there, and the judge threw that out. So what's going on with yeah, that? Yeah, Nevada was interesting because he asked that basically the uh, election be shut down rather than allow people to vote. And traditionally in, in Illinois and all states, if you're standing in line at 7 o'clock when the polls close, you vote. Right. And so we always err on the side of allowing people to vote. That was the opposite in Nevada today, and the judge shut it down. Uh, th this election is a little bit uh, interesting as we look at Florida. And it makes me a little nervous because I was in Florida 16 years ago, <laughs> far too long in Florida. But we've come a long way since, uh, since Florida, which is why the allegations of uh, rigging an election and conspiracies just don't hold water anymore. It's baloney. It's, it's absolute baloney if you understand how the voting and the counting takes place. <laughs> okay. My friend Bert Odelson yes, and Chris. I have... Uh, agreed to disagree down through the ages and I think that do you disagree with what he just said well I, I, I think that the systems are far better integrated today than they were mm -hmm. 16 years ago and that there is uh, thanks to 2000 and thanks to the hanging chads there's greater sensitivity for systemic integrity okay but all of this stuff requires public attention and public involvement mm -hmm. and you've got to be concerned about election administration there are three times to steal an election, before, during, and after. But it, it takes a lot more, uh, I would say, technical skill now to steal an election than what we saw in the mechanical days of yore, when you're talking about actual paper ballots, actual voting okay, machines. Okay, but yeah. rigging is a huge word. Yeah, yeah. Bert says baloney. You say, well, I, I've got, I, so what I do you mean? Say, I say that uh, vigilance is the cost of a clean election. Okay. Okay. People have got to be involved. I'm. I, I'm not pointing to anything today. Okay. I think that there was a slightly there was a slightly different interpretation on Nevada, but it's not worth going into. Uh, but but you, it is important for people to be concerned about the integrity of an election, and and in general, I, I think if it is well watched, it's probably going to be clean. If it's not, who knows? What about is the Russians? Which, 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 which is why, before, which is why you make a good point, Chris. Thank you. Which is why we have uh, we have uh, uh, ten thousand precincts in Illinois with right. five judges in each precinct. You have fifty thousand trained election judges watching what's going on right now, Bert, all day. Well, Bart, let me ask you this: Why are there so many different ways to vote, though, at those polling places? Well, there's not. There's really not. Well, you there's can touch screen, your, touch and screen, you, and you yeah. can fill in the arrow. But why? That's it. Why can't it just be one, you know, well, blanket? Because, because some people, and it will someday be all electronic by touching the screen, some people still like to have their piece of paper and to fill in the arrow, which has taken the place of the chats. And which the, gave us so the many, thing when you punched the, thing the punch, punch down. Yeah. They gave us so many problems. And, and, and Chris is right. The, uh, if you're going to try to steal or rig an election, it's not two or three anymore, it's only one before the election. You can't do it at the election anymore, okay. and you can't do it after. Us lawyers who are recount lawyers, there are no recounts anymore. Bert, we got well, 25 seconds. What about the Russians? Uh, the Russians can't hack into each individual uh, election <laughs> uh, uh, jurisdiction, and that's how we count them in Illinois, and that's how you count them in most of the other states. Each precinct, as you put your vote in, it's, it's counted. counted by that computer and then transmitted later. So, Impossible. Great. Bert Olson, thanks so Thank much. You. Appreciate Thank you. it. Appreciate the help. Thank you.